It really looks Coming like it's... The building? Yes. Change course. No. <sighs> so pretty much everything that's going to save me is going to explode. That is what I figured out as the general gist of this game. First the Aurora, second the Sunbeam. I wonder what's going to explode on me and crush my hopes of survival today. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, that's all part of the game. But while we're here, um, I'm thinking I might continue exploring this little alien structure. When I was editing, I um, noticed I didn't pick up that third ion cube that I found down here. So we're going to head in and we're going to catch that. Uh, not catch it, we're going to pick it up. And I might just explore that little bit further in here. Uh, probably go as far as we can or until something scares me and makes me want to run away like a uh, little scared boy. Um, now, let's just find that ion cube. I don't 100% remember where it is. Okay, so last time I think I went up. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yoink, how is my inventory going? It's getting pretty full. All right, uh, how about we eat this? There we go, that cleans it up a little bit. So, there's this corridor to go down, or there was upstairs. Maybe we'll have a look in here first. Uh, this kind of looks like some sort of, like it could be a portal of some sort maybe? I don't know. I do not know. Huh? Hello? Okay. I'm guessing this is a door or this is a portal that I have to unlock before I can go in there. Or perhaps, I remember she said, uh, she, that's the lady, the uh, AI person that I have, mentioned there's a control room somewhere that I can go down and um, sort of activate the controls of the place. So let's go and see if I can find that. All right, this is where I was before. So up, up, up. Haven't been on this level yet. What have we here? Uh, scanner. Oh, another alien device. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet. Oh, geez, that's a lot. Along with most of the solar system. Okay, well, it gets more. Uh, fortunately, it is malfunction. I would say that is oh, very fortunate. Wow. Such a small thing to have so much power. Does it follow me as I walk? Oh, no, it doesn't. All right, let's continue on. Uh, getting our hands on that thing could be good, but also could be pretty dangerous. There's another door. Um, nothing up this end. All right, let's go check out this door. See what's going on there. Um, I wonder... Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Okay. What's in here? Nothing. All right, so should I open this door? Let's do it. Let's just do it. Please don't make anything come out and attack me. I just, there we go. I'll get you, I'll get you. All right, let's go. Let's take it slow. This is unfamiliar territory, so I don't think I'm going to just run. Uh, we'll take it nice and slow, nice and safe, because safety first. Uh, I can see there's something up there. 
Those things are moving down. What do I need? Uh, press that. Yep. Oh. This. Oh. Hello. Oh. Ugh. That's not very nice. Okay. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation mm. reads. Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. So, like, did I... Did I just make it under quarantine? Are you classing me as infected? Background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Are you sort of classing me as infected? Let's see. Energy core. That wasn't very nice how it just jabbed me. Alright, what have we got? What's an energy core? This device houses energy equivalent to 100 MT. I'm not sure what that measurement is. 100 MT nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead, as we saw last episode, or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. Okay, so power is routed via the attached terminal. Okay. Uh, should I try this once again? Just see what happens. He looks just as nervous. Oh, that was a lot quicker. Okay. Well, let's see. Energy core, force fluid, iron cube. Which one was it? Codes and clues. Alien facility locations. Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. The disease research facility is 800 meters. I cannot make it that deep yet. Uh, it's a cave system with extensive fossil records southwest of enforcement platform. Function is the live specimen study objective synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated. Why couldn't I read that? Cra. Uh, there's another one at 1200. Uh, and there's some data corrupted for some other ones. Quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread. Okay. So by the sounds of that, it was already... Um, the place was already under quarantine. I need to, I'm guessing, find out how to turn off the quarantine protection uh, so that I can get ships to come and save me. Let's go and do that. Let's go and save the planet. Why not? But first, oh, 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 oh that was dumb. <laughs> that was really not smart. Um, all right, took barely any health off me though, which is nice. Before we go home, I'm going to go up back into that cave system and see if I can do anything with that alien arch, because I remember I needed an ion cube to do that. But first, I'm going to have a slight little squiz in the water down here. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. What's that? There's something down there that looks dangerous. I'm sure. Oh, there's one too. Oh, okay. He's like disappearing. Quick. Uh, I feel like he saw me and he's going to try and get me. <laughs> that was weird. That thing like shape, not shape shifted. What's it called? It like teleported away. All right. I'll have to be careful of that. Let's go back up this funky elevator. We head back up. We'll see the alien arch, see if the alien arch can do anything for us, and um, yeah. Alright, um, so I'll follow the lights. There we go, that was really easy to get to. I don't remember it being quite that easy. Uh, alrighty, let's insert an ion cube. 
Eh, I'm really nervous. What is... Oh, this is probably going to be a door. It looks the same as that... Yes. It looks the same as that one down in the... Um, in the factory thing down there. Oh, hey, well, shall we enter? Or should we not? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Go. Where are we going? Goodbye, cruel world. This is very Matrix-like, isn't it? Here we go. Okay. So, I'm not in the alien structure. I've got no idea where that teleported me to. Only one way to find out, though, isn't there? Cool. Well, um, here we are. There's my aurora. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Okay, would they be the trees by any chance? Yeah. All right. So at a very different angle for the aurora. I'm sort of behind it now. Before I was way over there. So we're obviously on a different island altogether. Um. Now, it said there's some energy signatures up on the top here. I'll wander around. We'll see what's going on. Here's a little pathway across to this section. Let's go see that. Do some mad cliff diving as well. That would be fun. If we get as high as we can, maybe there'll be something, uh, something to see. There's some sort of ship up there. All right. Let's try and get over to that thing. Huh? All right, we're going to have to go and see what that thing is. Oh, and there's another one up here. Awesome. Cool. Well, let's see. What have we got inside? Uh, that's either some sort of weird blood splatter or just mold. I'm really hoping it's just mold. What have we got here? Ah, an abandoned PDA. Integrating right. new PDA data. Well, what have we got here? Voice log. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're going to starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is, oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Okay. There's another one down there. Sweet. This is dangerous, but I'm going to go for it anyway. It's the quick way. Sometimes the quick way is the best way. <laughs> not always. Definitely not always. I'm actually... That one looks bigger, so I'm going to quickly go and explore that uh, little compartment up there first. And then I will run back down and uh, explore that massive one because I feel like it's actually got something fairly substantial to find. That water looks really nice down there. Let's go. Cool. Let's see. What have we got here? What have we got in this one? Don't want to fall off the edge. Huh? Sort of stuck. There we go. Supply crate. What have we got in here? Disinfected water, but my inventory's full. Uh, what can I do about that? What is this? Food. Yeah, you know what? I'll just eat all of them. Uh, let's pick up our disinfected water. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. It sure will. Thanks for telling me that basic human knowledge. Let's go. Let's go check out this massive structure down here. 
Uh, and then after this we might head back home because my inventory is really full and it's kind of uncomfortable. I feel like there's something moving. Oh, it's just one of the little crab things. They don't scare me that much. Exterior grow bed. This will be another building item, I imagine. Yep. Hey, mate. <laughs> He's excited to see me. New blueprint acquired. Alright, that was a blueprint. Here's another purple tablet. And a desk. What have we got with the desk? Alright. Blueprint uh, blueprints. Acquired. Was that just a blueprint? Yeah, it was. Nice. An abandoned PDA. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. I, I, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. That's true, Marguerite. Clever, I would assume, is a woman, judging by the sound of the voice. Uh, all right, can I enter this thing? Oh, here we go. Is this door open? Yeah, it is. Hey, bro. Do you want to, like, stop? All right, so what have we got? We've got another PDA. Uh, another PDA. Man, there's a few around here. And we got something that I'm getting caught on. Uh, a supply crate. What have we got in here? Battery. Nice. And then some steps up. First, we'll listen to the PDA. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, What's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. Only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Okay. They're getting a bit hostile, aren't they? By the sound of it, not great friends, really. What about this one? Five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut-price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specialising in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible, until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. Hmm. Oh, well, that was very fast. I did not expect to be instantly uh, transported up here. 
What do we got? A data box. Ultra glide fin streamline construction enhances swim speed considerably. Oh. Blueprint. Oh yeah. Awesome. That's mad. I'm really excited for that because man swimming is slow. Cool. Well, let's go see. What have we got here? Oh, oh just stop hitting me. You're huh? annoying. Huh? We'll take their crops. Thanks, guys. You're uh, great. Um, let's scan this one just because I can't pick it up because my inventory is full. And I'm really going to take you out in a sec, bud. Well, that was fun. That was fun. That was interesting. Uh, but I think now is the time. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, maybe I'm stuck. No, there we go. Now I think is the time to. Uh... There's another one. Never mind. Let's listen to what this guy has to say. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. <laughs> I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials? Like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. All right. Well, did we get those coordinates? Uh, blueprints. We got some new blueprints out of all of that. What did we get? We got some ultra glide fins, which we need. Uh, fins, rubber, and titanium. I've got all of that at home, which is nice. I think now is the time to maybe find our way off this island and head home to our little tiny, tiny life pod. When I get home, I'm going to start seriously looking into making um, some vehicles. Here we go. Some... Oh. Well, that... Whatever happened just there was mad. Something is making a noise. And I'm nervous of what it is. Um... Is it whatever that is? I hope it's that, and I hope it's not anything else. Uh, let's go. So yes, we're going to head home. We're going to try and find a few wreckages so that I can make some um, exploration vehicles. Because I am not a huge fan of just having to swim everywhere. It makes it really, really difficult. Because it means if I have to swim everywhere, it makes it really hard to explore deep places. Um, if I get sprung by anything, it makes it really hard to escape. Uh, so, yes. Gonna find something that can just help us explore a little bit easier. Alright, here we are. Let's make some mad fins. What have we got? Nope, fins we want... Uh, what was the other one? Alright, so, it would appear I need a modification station, uh, which I'll look at at some stage. Well, we have a letter. A message. Let's listen. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Okay. Well, that's, um... <laughs> that's uncomfortable, isn't it? Those things... 
sounded, uh, they didn't sound great. And I'm not just talking about the tone of their voice and the way you hear it. I'm like, they want me dead. I'm not trying to hurt them. I just want to survive. Um, so, oh man. That's not very nice at all. That's not very nice <laughs> at all. All right. So, uh, there's things out there that are trying to kill us, okay? That's one thing we're now going to have to be super careful of, which means I really, really desperately need to get some sort of uh, transportation device because I am really not safe. Now, I imagine probably a fairly good way to find things is if I go towards the ship... Ooh, I've unlocked a counter. Sea Glide, yes. <gasps> Does that mean I can actually craft that now? I hope so. Uh, all right, is there anything else? Mobile vehicle bay, please. Please, please, please give me a mobile vehicle bay. Well, go and make that Sea Glide, and that should make it a little bit easier. All right, now, while we're waiting for the sun to come up, because I can't see a thing down there, we are going to listen to this next message. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? <laughs> Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to Burial. PDA. Lifepod 17. Carrying high priority passengers remains. Okay. Let's do it. Sea glide. The sea ah. glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Cool. Let's go. How fast can this take us? Give it a good check out. Oh, look at that. Pure speed, hey? Pure speed. All right, we're gonna go and explore this place. We're gonna find some more wreckages and we're going to get a mobile vehicle Bay. That way I'll be able to craft a sea moth, which is like, from my understanding, a, like a little miniature submarine thingo. And that is going to make it so much easier. There's another wreckage. Is this the one that we explored before? I'll have a quick little squiz, see if there's anything to get. An office chair. Okay. Probably not all that exciting of an item, but you know what? I'll scan it. Can I just, like, get a mobile vehicle bay, please? <laughs> Why is it so hard to find? Anything cool under here? No. Nah. No. Nah. Anything inside? No. Nah. Come on. Oh, up top. What is this? What is this? What are <laughs> you? Oh, I've got chills. Got chills. Whoa. What was that? I'm human, by the way, just to answer your question, but what was that? There's a door. Can I go in the door? No. Damaged wiring. Use repair tool. Let's repair this. What was that? Oh, door can open now. Right, what have we got in here? Oxygen. Okay, first of all, let's get some air. Oh, man, that thing made me uncomfortable. Whatever that thing was, that made me 
incredibly uncomfortable. Is that the thing that's trying to hunt me? I don't know. Whatever it is, I don't like it. I mean, unless it's friendly, in that case, then yeah, I'm happy to like it. But at this stage, I don't feel like it's going to be friendly. Command chair. What else have we got down here? Anything? Is that literally all that's in here? Oh, supply crate. What have we got? First aid kit. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, thanks for that. I don't really need a beacon fragment. Uh, all right. I'm not too scared of those guys anymore because I feel like I can go pretty quick. <gasps> what is that? Eh. Ah. <laughs> ah, bro, I'm. Oh my gosh. Nope. <laughs> nope. You can go away. You can go away real fast. I do not want you. Huh. Well. Well, well, well. Okay. Well, be super careful around here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that was that was intense. How did I escape that? Uh, all right, so I don't think I'm ready to come over this way yet. Let's go home for now. I feel like it's starting to get dark, and whatever that thing was that was on my tail is unwelcome. I don't really want it to be near me. All right, well, no better time to read a message, I think. Be your only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just gonna have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're computer. Doing a sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters <laughs> is still functional. Becky's the... leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the the regular. The regular? Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should <laughs> and be. If she doesn't. Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay. The code. I say regular, she's like, "What's the regular?" I can come all the way back up here. The code should be two six seven nine. The regular is just a ham and cheese. Okay. okay Would well, you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese. Okay. <laughs> now there is a command center in the Aurora, but <laughs> I don't know that I can make it to the Aurora. Like, what was that thing that attacked me? No. I'm so lucky it didn't, it was so close to getting me, but man, I dodged it just in time. I wonder if that's um, the weird alien thing that spoke to me before. Huh, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, I remember there was a massive wreck over here near Life Pod 17. Um, I'm gonna head back over there because I hopefully will find a uh, mobile vehicle bay there. So we're going to go, we're going to have a look. We're going to try and explore in here. Hopefully I can find some good little blueprints because I really need a, uh, I need something to travel with, man. Like I just, I really need some way to travel. This doesn't feel like it's a very good direction to be traveling in. <laughs> Where am I? Is this it? No. Alright, how do I get out of here? I'm getting nervous now. How do I get out? Oh, okay, cool. I found it. Never mind. Um... battery charger that'll come in handy then abandoned PDA integrating new PDA data beautiful 
Alright, well let's go and get some air back and then we might come back try and explore this a little bit more. Take it real slow, real careful. Anything that's scannable, I'll scan. A swivel chair, probably not exactly what I'm looking for. Near blueprint acquired. Up. Anything substantial in here? Nothing. Alright, down this way. Was there any way to go in here? This is where I started to get real claustrophobic. Is this it? Yes. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. What was up? That was not up. Was that up? Okay, nerves, nerves, nerves. So there was thirty seconds. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. And then through here. No. No, okay, thirty seconds. I'm running low on air. Oxygen. Uh, okay, that didn't give me much. That didn't give me much at all. Oxygen. Um, where was the exit? Okay. Well then.